I've been detecting for almost 30 years. And I'll tell you, I had an, had an epiphany. What is the biggest breakthrough I've had in metal detecting through all my 30 years? You know, you think, oh, it's the Deus, or it's the Simplex, or you think it was the, my TRX pinpointer, or you think it's my hand digger sheets that I make, or or my my bags, my my whites, um, my whites canvas bag, or you think that it's my uh, de definitely not my MX board, all right? <laughs> not a breakthrough, <laughs> but there's one breakthrough. It's a night and day comparison to other shovels, and what I'm talking about is the Predator Phoenix shovel. I have several different. Predator products, right? I have the Predator Ranger. I have the Predator Spartan. I've had other Predator, um, the, the Predator, uh, uh, some other shovels, but I, I really don't use them because Phoenix just does it all for me. And I'm telling you, it's a game changing night and day difference between other compared to other shovels. The first time I popped a plug with the Predator Phoenix shovel. I'm like, <gasps> and it's like that a lot, right? Don't get complacent with the tools that are using now. I have broken so many shovels in my years of detecting. I have bent show so many shovels. I've broken tips off of, I've worn the edges off of, I've snapped them in half. I've bent them, you know, trying to pry on, uh, you know, some deep iron or some big rocks or, uh, you know, my hard concreted clay here in the summertime. It gets pretty brutal here, right? And I am very hard on my equipment. You see me kicking the, saw me kicking the simplex around and it's a super durable machine, right? The simplex is a super dur durable machine, but the Phoenix is like the simplex on steroids. How durable this product is right i don't stand behind any manufacturer and i i usually don't stand behind a, a certain product but i i'm not sponsored by predator tools they don't give me any money i just give you guys this information because i want to be honest and literally the only way that i can create videos and i can get this many targets out this fast is with the Predator Phoenix shovel. I've never experienced this all around product and durable and lightweight. And it's just, it just, it, it's the perfect shovel, right? Th th this reason why I bought a second Phoenix shovel as a backup, just in case if this one broke or this one um, bent or this one, uh, I lose this one, but I'm going to show you the difference between a brand new Phoenix shovel and a Phoenix shovel that has over a million stabs in the ground with it. And it's in my videos, right? The proof is in my videos. I use the same shovel on in all my videos for the last two years. But I've had this shovel for a little over four years. And it's well worth the money. I've recommended the shovel and I have a review, a couple reviews on the shovel. Um, and when my subscribers or my viewers purchase a shovel, I've never had any negative feedback about the shovel. They say, they also say that it's a game changer for them also. And I'll show you, show you, right? Look at the difference in length of the spade of the shovel. Both these shovels are exactly identical shovels. This one, I've been using for four years every day, right? This shovel, I've stabbed a couple times in the ground there. But look at the length of it, right? Look how worn out it is on the edges here. This shovel still makes the perfect plugs. This shovel has a crack in it right there, right? That crack has been there for over two years. And I, I put my weight on all my weight. I actually bounce on the shovel to get 
deeper objects out of the ground, like bigger iron or prying on some rocks or hard, hard concreted clay all of the time. And that crack is still going to be there till the day I die. I probably will never ever use this brand new shovel. That's how durable this product is, right? It defies the laws of physics how this shovel is made, right? It's the perfect design in a shovel. Everything that I could ever want is in, every, everything that I've, I could ever want in a shovel is in the Phoenix shovel, right? I stand by my reputation with this shovel right here. If you purchase a shovel and you are having problems with it, you're probably one in a million people right it's the perfect shovel i'm about six little over six foot tall and it just pops the perfect plugs i don't have to strain bending down trying to pop that plug out right because it has that curved end and it just pops that plug right out from the bottom right with other straight shovels you have to pro you have to really bend down a lot to pop that plug out because it's flat on the bottom right it it doesn't it, they don't have those tips that are angled like that right just pops that plug right out right with just little effort just boom just pops it right out with other shovels I have to bend down way down just the ease of use of the shovel right the more you bend down and the more uh, stress that you put on your back and your arms the more you're gonna get tired out and you're really not gonna like metal tucking much but I stand by this shovel 100% I stake my reputation on it, right? And you kind of take that for granted. You know, you get really complacent on the tools that you use, but this shovel has lasted a long time. You saw the wear on that shovel. I've actually wear, worn the tip out of shovels just after a couple months, right? I've broken the tips. I've just said that, you know, how I've destroyed shovels in the past because I'm really hard on my gear. I dig in some pretty rough terrain and my soil is very abrasive too. And other shovels just wear the tip out, right? They just get wore out. And that tip, I've never sharpened the shovel, right? That's, that tip is still pointed, right? It still stabs through the ground, just perfect. Even though the, the, ser the serrated edges are a little bit worn out, it still works flawlessly, right? I and mean, look at how beat up it is, right? I have beat this shovel to death. And I'll probably, uh, I'll probably will that shovel to somebody because it'll still be alive the day I die. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.